Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Victoria and today we're going to talk about the sex chromosomes, what they are, what they do and about a few disorders. So the X and the Y chromosome. They are part of the whole human genome and each cell has 23 pairs of chromosomes. 22 of those are autosomic and one part, uh, one pair is the sex chromosomes. Female have a X and X as sex chromosomes and males have a X and a Y chromosome. The X and the Y chromosome are responsible for gender determination, that's why they're called sex chromosomes. And during meiosis, when each chromosome is pulled to a different pole and gametes are created, then uh, the X and the Y are in the, or the X and the X are individually packaged into one gamete. And during fertilization, two gametes are combined. So either X and X or X and Y. I drew that uh, there on the poster so you can see it. Um, that this determines if it's going to be a female or a male. And in males, in the meiosis, 50% of the gametes will have an X and the other 50% will have a Y. While in females, all the gametes will have an X chromosome. Now we're going to talk about the genetic information concerning the X and the Y chromosome. The X chromosome is larger and carries more genetic information than the Y chromosome. While in paired autosomal chromosomes, the homologous chromosomes carry the same amount of genetic information. In females, in every cell, it's randomly selected which one of the X chromosomes will be deactivated, so it will be seen as a bar body. So this means that in females, in every cell, just one of the chromo X chromosomes is activated, which is um, under the purpose of dosage equalization. So that in females, there's not more active genes than in males. Okay, now let's talk about the different traits. So traits are controlled by genes found only on the X chromosome are called X-linked. And uh, recessive sex-linked disorders or X-linked disorders are much more frequent in men because women need two of the sick X chromosomes to express a disease. And when they only have one of the sick X chromosomes, then they're so-called carriers. But I will mention that later again. In um, men who inherit one sick X chromosomes, they don't have a, a second X chromosome to counteract or dominate over this um, gene, which is on this X chromosome at least in recessive disorders. Examples for these kind of recessive sex-linked disorders are hemophilia and red-green color blindness. And as mentioned before, they are much more frequent in men. So let's come back to the carriers. They usually show some signs of the disease, some more than others. And this is due to these bar bodies, which I mentioned earlier. So this turning off of one of the X chromosomes, because this is randomly selected. So the healthy X chromosome might be active in a cell or the one that carries the genetic information for a disease. So in some of the cells or in most of the cells, the disease carrying X chromosomes might be inactivated. Now let's talk a little bit more about the Y chromosome. So genes on the Y chromosome are only expressed in men. And most of the genes that are located on that chromosome are so-called maleness determi determiners, which are necessary for developing the testes in fetuses. And there's a gene within the Y chromosome, which is called the SRY gene which controls these genes for maleness. The SRY gene is a transcription factor, 
so it can enhance the expression of certain genes and can decrease the expression of other genes. Mutations in this SRY gene can lead to disorders of the development of the gender. Yeah, this might lead to a decrease of the genotype or phenotype of males. And also SRY induces the proliferation of the fetal B potential gonads. So in the beginning, the embryo has the possibility to either create Sertoli and Leydig cells for male fetuses or for the female follicle and TK cells, which are important for the development of the egg cells. So this SRY gene induces that the Sertoli and Leydig cells will be created instead of the female cells. Now in the end I would like to talk about a few disorders which are linked to abnormal numbers of these sex chromosomes. About each of the diseases I will talk at a later point in the sequence, but I just thought it's important to mention them here anyways. So I mentioned four of them, the Turner syndrome, where the sex chromosomes is just a X and no Y, and these ha um, people that have this disorder have a very typical appearance, which I will talk about in the next or in one of the next videos. Then Klinefelter's syndrome, where there are three sex chromosomes, two X and one Y. Then there's the triple X female, and which you can see on the poster also, and as the name already says. They have either three X chromosomes or in the case of the double Y male, one X and two Y chromosomes. So that's all for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you liked it, I would be happy about a, subscri a subscription or a thumbs up. And I hope to see you in the next one.